Welcome to Tech Tips. What's going on everyone? I'm Brick with AIM Sports and today we are going to be looking at how to download our Race Studio 3 software as well as how to update that software once you have it downloaded. Let's check it out. Starting from ground level here, we're going to go to our preferred web browser. Up here at the top, we're gonna type aimsports.com. Oh. So here we have the AIM Sports website. We're gonna start by going up here to software firmware download. Click on that, it'll take you to this page. The program we're interested in is up here at the top, Race Studio 3. We'll click the download link right here. That'll take you to this page. This page does have a couple previous versions on it, but we're gonna install the latest right here. Should see that downloading right up here at the top if you're using Chrome. Once that's finished downloading, we'll go back to our desktop, open up the file explorer, go to our downloads, and we should see it right under here under downloads. We'll double click on that to launch the application. Welcome to the Race Studio 3 setup wizard. This is uh, fairly straightforward, just like installing any other program. We'll click next here. We'll save it in the normal location on our C drive. Click next one more time. Accept the license agreement. Definitely wanna do that. We'll have some green bars going across the screen here just to indicate that it is installing. Hold please. Once that's complete, we'll just click finish. Race Studio 3 will automatically launch. And now we're here. You now have Race Studio 3 on your computer. Now, if you did just do this install, you should already have the latest version, but we're gonna go over updating it just in case. I went ahead and backdated my Race Studio 3 just so I could show you this process. Now, what we're gonna do for the update is go up here to the web updates icon. Now this icon does change shape depending on a couple things, but it's always in this location. If you hover over it, it'll say web updates. We'll click on that. That'll take you to this page. This has the software up at the top and then all of our different firmware for all of our different devices. We don't need to worry about these today. So first of all, make sure you're connected to the internet when you're checking for updates. If you're not, this column right here, the on the web column is not gonna be populated. There's just gonna be a bunch of dashes here. So the on the web column, that's, think of that like the AIM Cloud. That's the current version. That's the latest update that we have posted on our website and then downloaded. That's actually the version that's on your PC. So we always wanna remember if we're trying to make sure we have the most up-to-date version we need to make sure that these two columns match the software is also automatically checking for that so that's why you'll get this little new icon right here if there is a newer version that you can download all we need to do to actually download the update is make sure the box is checked and then we hit download updates right up here at the top once that's finished we'll get this little notification just confirming the update we'll click yes now we just need to go through our install wizard again it's going to be the exact same steps as last time once we go through the install process again we go back to web updates and we can see that these two numbers match. So we do have the latest version installed. That's all there is to it. Our software is up to date. That's all for today. If you guys have any topics that you want covered, let us know down here in the comments. Make sure you give that subscribe button a good hard look, maybe a little click, click. Follow us on Instagram at aimsportsdata and we will see you next time.